problematic because it precludes fixing institutional racism. Instead, see color. Recognize that your black friends face challenges you don't and help move the world towards racial equity. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> God, dog. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, well, may, no. well maybe, maybe it's oh, karma, no. what happened to him, for, for the advantages he's had through this, and you know, system that, you know, has put him in a place to succeed, to invent cash app, right? No solutions. Yeah, I oh. mean, it wasn't his hard work. Like, uh, it, uh, any old George Floyd could have created Cash App if it wasn't for <laughs> systematic systems of institutional, institutional, procedural, whatever. For not to mention heroin. Yeah, Rayshard Brooks could have came up with the square little thing, but you know, it was, it was just, it just, golly, many people. Oh, Bob, I, I was rooting for you, Bob. <laughs> I was rooting for Bob, man. I was hoping that was... I, that, listen, I knew he was woke because he's in the tech and he lives in San Francisco and he's out right. at 2 o'clock in the fucking morning. But I just... I just I, it's like that guy in the video the other day when he said all his girlfriends be eating his butt. I, I, I just <laughs> didn't... He didn't have to tell me this. Like... I, I would have rather not know. I would have rather <laughs> gone on, you know, just believing that, you know, just <laughs> bliss. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Yo, I, I'm telling you, I don't understand why Gil, maybe it's a DNA thing, being an umbrito, but I don't I have no idea why the gliders like for are forcing guilt upon themselves. I think um Fisherman and Fabian talked about it. And if you're a glider, the link is in the description box and you want to come up here. Um, you want to, um, if, if anybody wants to come up and tell us, we, we're looking for gliders to help us out with this. Maybe a glider can come up and answer these questions for us. Why wow, y'all like this? Like, <laughs> I mean, like, dude, this dude owes black people nothing. We hate you because you're successful and you're white. And if you ever said anything that was See, this is another thing, too. If he said anything that wasn't licking our balls and kissing our ass. You guys? Would, yeah, we would fucking come after him. So he 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 knows that. He's like the girl, the, the white foot basketball player the other day. They asked her, what do you think about the girl? Talking? She's like, no, I don't think she'd be accused. It was great. I loved it. <laughs> they, they know not to say anything, man, about us because we, we run this place, man. Right, oh, yeah. you sure might have another. Yeah, let me see who's this guy. Hold on, who's this guy? Who are you, Gotsman? Uh, Yokohama. Who? Yoko. I'm uh, uh, I'm from Oakland. I'm oh, you. Oh, I'm Yokohama. Not... What's up, yeah. man? It's What's all happening, good. man? It's all good. Uh, I just wanted to chime in because this is happening in my city. You know, San Francisco. Is the is the ultimate as far as the hypocrisy of the woke the wokesters? How all the crazy programs and crazy shit that they come up, all the diversity, weird shit and crazy programs. It's a jobs program for liberal white people to just come in there and just give you know every sun kid has a counselor, a tutor, a mentor, some other bullshit. And nothing, you know, nothing to help those communities and all these rich motherfuckers come in and they push the normal people out. San Francisco's got like three black neighborhoods and it's all surrounded by projects. You got the Hunters Point area, you got uh, Fillmore District, and you got uh, the Tenderloin. And that's just like the black people are all in these projects. And most, black, most, most of them just live out. I'd say this crime is like 50-50, just some crazy glider, like because the, the, the streets are just swarming with, you know, it looks like Seattle, you know, on the street. So you think this could be a glider who did this? I mean, people, the thing about it is it's just, Possibly. yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay. Because they don't just have like, sa we don't have like those savage just, you know, we just got like strung out crazy people. Mm, yeah, I don't think this was a, um, I don't think this was goddamn, a Pooh or a fucking Indian <laughs> young boy did this shit. 
yeah. but, I, I, but but it's but you think that it could have been a, um okay okay it's man. Like, it could have been but it's most likely like if it's a sun man it's like a guy who's been in and out of methadone clinics you know just they well, have that's these, a given i think that's yeah. a given you know but, but, but you would describe <laughs> yeah, I, can hustle, dude. I can believe that i can believe that i can believe that yeah yeah I mean, but they have like, zombies out there just straight yeah. up zombies well it's san francisco right so i mean that's a given hey dude you were describing kind of a hustle earlier with the gliders you know, getting like becoming counselors and they're just making an industry out of the of making victims out of some people, it feels like, right? That's what they do. They come in and teach victimization. Like if you're if you're a decent son kid in there just wanting to get an education, they got these fucking criminals, these that all that bullshit from like when you're 10 years from the time you're 10 years old, they know you're a bad seed and you're just tearing up the classroom. You've got a psychologist, you got a counselor, people it's a jobs industry for the in the good kids they don't get shit right they just if they sur <laughs> if they survive they move the fuck out of san francisco and you only have just this the people the people in san francisco are people who cannot afford to leave and they are just stuck in just you know that's why they they escape to like atlanta or you know they just get the fuck out texas oh hell yeah it's so what do you what are y'all talking about? Uh, are you moving to San Francisco because of the reparations they're going to give some people? Or are you staying in <laughs> Oakland? <laughs> I think I'm staying in Oakland. Wow. Even 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 though they're giving some people $5 million a piece. They're giving us shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's just some crazy talk. They, they always... <laughs> They just come up with that bullshit just to keep people distracted from, you know, to somehow make up some crazy reason. If America, if America wanted to fix black people, you know, it would, it would be, it wouldn't be some woke shit. You know what I mean? If, if America wanted to fix black people, they, it would be, there would have to be some kind of, you know, heavy handed, uh, you know, something that we, you know, something that we can't even talk about it. You know, we can't even talk about the answer. Now, well, when you, you say America, you you here, <laughs> when, when you, you say America, do you mean gliders? No, or I mean the black people too. They got to pitch in and, and participate. Black people can't just sit and act like it's the world's job to fix us. It's got to be the some people that do it. Nobody else could do it, right? Not, not as long as the gliders keep giving the sun men. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah. fucking what do they call that shit? The ankle bracelet. <laughs> they put a fucking a triple <laughs> murderer sure. in your community. You got it with an ankle bracelet. He right. cut it. Sure. You know, they they, sure. you know. I mean, it's like that. That that the some men don't make the uh, the ankle bracelets. You know, mm -hmm. they don't they don't hire these psychologists to teach kids that they're victims from the beginning. You know. All, all this weird shit, all the, like you go to the school, there's all these professional people coming in there making with making all this money. It's that's not shit. Come on, man. This is not art. Let me read this tweet. Bob okay. Lee said, um, he said, Well, Obama versus Hillary, who used the term super creditor and whose husband drove the 1994 crime bill. Which arguably accelerated mass incarceration of POC. God, Bob. <laughs> Yo, in, in honor of this tweet, I, I really hope it was a glider that killed them and not a fucking sun man. I think it was a sun man, man. Because he, here's the thing he would have probably opened the door for a sun man. 2 30 in the morning, a little tipsy. He had probably chatted up a sun man trying to be like not racist or something. I, I'm start like when you when you talk this shit. You have you, you become a magnet. It's like you you pulsate um fucking waves that sun men can like feel like unconsciously, like right, you, right. You know what I'm saying? Like he, yeah, his energy like attracted the sun men. I'm thinking this is I feel, I feel I feel like I feel like it's 50 50, like homeboy said. I feel like cause it's like it's like my city, it's like we have like a lot of junkies out here, a lot of like black, white. Hispanic, all that shit. So it's like at the end of the day, it could be anybody. Like cause down that area, it's like all those type of people doing drugs, crazy high, and all that. I don't know. It's crazy. Like, you want to hear I, this I one? Like 
Here go another one for you. This is from 2020. So this is August 25th, 2020. Woo! He says, <laughs> if people you associate with say or do something racist and you don't correct them, you are guilty of racism. You got to mute yourself, Yokohama. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can hear you. You hear all your background. Um, you, if people you associate with say or do something racist and you do not correct them, you are guilty of racism by association, which is just as bad, perhaps worse, since you know better. When it comes to racism, if you aren't part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Well, what does it mean you know better? I think you know something that we all know. Oh, uh, let's, please, let's please hope it's not a sudden man. Come on, man. No. Your eyes. <laughs> I, think, I got a feeling Bill or Bob, whatever, will hit you. Oh, fuck yeah. Yo, if he, if he knew I was uh, accepting cash apps or this channel, he would, oh, <laughs> fuck. He would try to, yeah. Yeah, it's a so, yeah, I'm pretty sure he will call you Uncle Tom. I, I mean, hey, I'm just being like, Hit the cash you have to piss off Bob, man. He's still in purgatory, man. Piss him off, man. About that tweet, they say you're guilty of racism by by, a and they changed the definition of racism, man. If you like vanilla yeah. ice cream, you were racist. Right. Yeah. They, they sure did. Yeah, systematic system. They made it, yeah, they took it to where, yeah, system. So it's like you can never say, you can never um, prove yourself Innocent, yeah, it's infinite, it's infinite, it's infinite, yeah. it's never gonna stop, yeah, but, man. But to be fair, I think they also wanted to change women on there, so fuck them, yeah. This is crazy. Look, here we go again. Um, uh, this is from okay, this is from 2019. So, um, folks, this is about trans men, biological women who identify as men, F2M. And non-binary people, both of whom can have periods, not trans women, who obviously cannot. You say trans, and everyone just thinks of Caitlyn Jenner. Oh my god, this fucking. I'm like a fucking riddle. This guy, something else, man. Um, he was he was tweeting. He was twit. He was Twitter fingers. <laughs> um, <laughs> He so, he was probably, he was probably high like he was trying to get high that night. Yeah, exactly. He nah, says, I think I think it was some zesty some zesty things going that night. Maybe so. We, we we I hope we find out, man. Um, hope this doesn't go un this might go unsolved. But they don't have nothing, man. Um, salute to um Bob Lee says things are getting a little better. At least we're talking about racial issues. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Things are getting a little better. At least we're talking about racial issues instead of ignoring them. We still have so far to go. <laughs> it's, it's not enough for it's not enough for white people to not be racist. We need to push for racial equality, equity too, and not expect black people to do all the work. Wow. <laughs> This is the guy who got killed? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. This guy's crazy. And all of them were like this, too, though. Like, I tell you, man, when I be around those fucking what, pasty lips, they sound like this. It just, it's still, it's just bizarre here. And then, like, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Man, like, you're, you're a genius. Oh. Hold on. Let me, let me just read this one more time. <laughs> <laughs> this one with that. Things are getting a little better. At least we're talking about racial issues instead of ignoring them. We still have so far to go. It's not enough for white people to not be racist. We need to push for racial, racial equity too. And not expect black people to do all the work. My God. Yeah, I feel bad for <laughs> laughing, man, but that shit is too funny, though. As, as he was dying, as he was being stabbed to death. <laughs> He's like, I forgive you. Word. <laughs> right. I forgive you. I forgive you. Right, I forgive man. you. Jesus Christ. Um. So he will. He see. Is this anti-Semitic right here? He says, 
Nuff asked, why is it more acceptable in academia in academia to be Jewish than Christian? Jewish describes an ethnicity, not just a religion. Oh, I don't know. I can't say that's anti-Semitic. Yeah, they, give him a break, Jewish Korean. Shit, man, this guy. God. Man. Jesus. I don't I don't believe I don't believe that anybody that talks this bullshit believe in that shit. They just some of them just got an agenda. But some people really do believe this crazy shit. Yo, oh listen, if you think they don't believe they learned it in school. So that's it when you learn something in school, like when I was in school, I used to I could memorize all the state capitals, all the presidents. Um, I was very good at memorizing stuff like that. You can't tell me that the um capital of fucking um maryland isn't annapolis because i learned it in school if the capital of, of maryland is fucking baltimore i will just be wrong because in school they told me it was annapolis these people learned this shit in school you never gonna be you if you think they don't believe this shit you don't know how the shit works. They believe this shit. That's why they always vote against their own interests. They really believe this shit. And right. also, this has given them power. Like, they came to power over this shit. They control everything. They control Hollywood. They control TV. They control Congress. They control the Senate. They control the White House. They control um, fucking Oscars. They control fucking right. the WNBA, the NBA, the NFL. They control everything with this shit. So you know, it was a, it was a big part of why the mayor won here. I this shit right here is a big part, a big element of why the Sun Man won mayor here. Yeah, salute to um, crypto curse currency Carlos. Damn man. Um, does anybody know about the cryptocurrency this guy had? This um, he had a crypto, he had a money, right? He had a um crypto thing. This Bob Lee guy, right? He was he had he had something I was reading about. He had some kind of cryptocurrency company that he was he he had just started. He said, "Here's my money for a Bud Light." Oh, I I don't I don't drink Bud no more. Bud is for trans man. Bud right. Bud, Bud is for trans people, man. I'm I only drink beers for for fucking. <laughs> for man. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't drink Bud. I boycott Bud. Fuck Bud. Right. Fuck this Bud, Bud's guys. not for you. But thank you though. I get a, I get a Modelo or a fucking um some shit like there that. There you go. Or a fucking yeah something or some kind a of Corona. Like, yeah, Corona exactly or a Bex or a fucking high. Exactly. Yeah, those are keys, something like that. But fuck fuck Bud. Um, damn this fucking guy. Um, oh shit! This guy says my girlfriend woke up this to this. Some minutes later, I see the news of Bob Lee's murder. It is incredibly shocking to see how one of the most important cities in the world has to come to such chaos this is this guy right here i don't know who this guy is he said he said he saw this he's a pilot okay he said he saw this um he said he saw this his girlfriend saw this when she woke up this morning she videotaped it. nobody told you it's a bunch of george floyd it's a, it's a hundred thousand george floyd's it may be more Brand, yeah, somehow he's one of a kind. Yeah. Don't don't clone anymore. <laughs> God said he's gonna clone George Floyd. <laughs> don't, he said don't, clone him. don't worry about it, man. It's covered. <laughs> I mean, I can't even imagine this living like this. Especially if you got kids, you know why how is this he's thrown up? He threw up right here, and now you gotta walk through that, track it all through your fucking house and shit. He just threw up. This fucking guy. Mm. And look over here. It's more over here. That's more over here. Look. 
That's how San Francisco looks. Shit everywhere. Piss everywhere. Mm. Are, you are, you sa- are you from San Francisco? No, I'm from Boston. Yeah, this oh. is the dude from Boston from last night. Yeah, yeah, man. From Lynn. Whatever. Lynn, right? I'm from yeah. Boston, but I live in Lynn. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool Breeze. Salute to Cool Breeze, man. Cool Breeze coming through with the Dubsky, man. Salute to you, bro. Um, like, like, what would you do? What would you do out with this? Like, would you confront them? Were you? Hell no! Are you fucking crazy? Fuck no! I wouldn't confront this guy. You fucking nuts! Fuck around, get stabbed and shit. Yo, now if this guy was in front of my house, I have a house. That's different. I, I, I guess. I guess that's what I'm. That's what I kind of meant. I if guess. he's in front of my fucking apartment building, fuck no! I wouldn't say nothing to this guy. Hell so in front no. of your house, you would though. Yeah. If this guy was in front of my house, I'd come outside with a baseball bat and fucking club. <laughs> fucking got my fucking daughter in here, man. You right, fucking, right. I, I would come out. I would mace. I would mace him. I would mace the fuck out. I mean, all in his shit. I would, <laughs> I would mace him so bad that they would tell, they would be like, "Look, man, he's blind. He, he, he I mean, <laughs> he, 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 you, you, you actually blinded the guy. I know. Um, he's gonna I, lose an eye. He don't need yeah. it." I would mace, I would mace him so bad that, man, are you fuck? If this guy in front of my yeah. fucking house with my fucking daughter and my wife in here, I man, agree. And first of all, I wouldn't try to, I wouldn't go out. But if he, if he made it to where, I would call the police from inside. But if he made it to where, like he was, it was something. I would go out there and I would mace him into infinity. He would yeah. be soaking wet, like when they came. He would be drenched. His whole body would be soaking wet. I would the can. I would fuck after the can. I would stop beating with the can after it was empty. <laughs> you know, because I I agree with you. I don't even want him with an eyesight of my fucking. I don't want. I don't want you on my sidewalk. So I'd have an issue with this. But I was talking to a childhood friend who moved to LA, and I asked him why doesn't anybody confront these people, and he was telling me what you said initially that. You can't because they're crazy. Like they don't have shit to lose. This guy probably has every fucking communicable, every form of hepatitis. He got hepatitis infinity. He got everything. So right. So you don't want to touch this guy. He's, right. he's shitted today. He's got feces under his fingernails. Don't he's got walk. blood on his hands. He's got vomit on his hands. Right now. He's got sperm on his hands. His clothes is covered in all those shits. It's right. like you don't even want to touch the doorknob after he's touched the doorknob. And uh, however, I agree. However, I don't want you within eyesight of my fucking house, motherfucker. Get the yeah. fuck up out of here. That's how I feel about it. But yeah, he's a fucking he's a fucking menace. This guy's a menace. And here's the thing. If some sun teens walk by, like some NBA young boys or some little babies, he would pipe down. If they was like, who the fuck are you talking to? Oh, see, young bro, young bro, young bro, man. Nah, real nah, young bro, real I ain't told you. He'd be like Smokey real with shit. Debo. Nah, real shit. 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 You know them young bulls be bullying the unks and shit, man. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, as soon as they leave, right back to it though. Yeah, he doing that shit. He doing that shit to we he 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 knows no consequences, man. He ain't doing that shit to them young them young boys. Them young boys give him a dirty look, he'll pipe down. They ain't even gotta say that, just to cut their eyes at him, he gonna pipe down. Yeah, he, he, gonna, he, gonna, he, gonna, he gonna do that shit to the glaciers, he gonna do that to the glaciers and um breathe those up walking by and shit. Yeah, he's like, he's gonna yeah. No, I, I can't do it. I, I, I can't, man. I, and, and that's me coming from a, from a pretty violent city, right? Yeah. I rather be here than over there. Yeah, definitely. The, man, at least I I'm mean, used to these clowns over here, you know? Yeah, it's no place like home, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shit, man. My God. This guy right here, man. Bob Lee. Jesus Christ. Um... Yeah. Um, <laughs> I fucking 